Good morning, everyone. And welcome to St Hibble's Church on this Palm Sunday. This Sunday is the beginning of Holy Week, when Jesus entered Jerusalem to wild cheering from the crowds, who believed that he had come to rescue them from Roman tyranny and taxation. But as we know, crowds are fickle and easily swayed, and five days later, they were baying for his death. Let us celebrate that joyous entry into Jerusalem today and wave our palms. And if you're watching the service at home, now is the time to click on the pause and fetch the palm cross that you've tucked behind the calendar in the kitchen or on a photograph in your bedroom. And so we begin our service. Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Behold, your king comes to you, O Zion, meek and lowly, sitting upon an ass. Ride on in the cause of truth and for the sake of justice. Your throne is the throne of God. It endures forever, and the scepter of your kingdom is a righteous scepter. You have loved righteousness and hated evil. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. Together, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. <clears throat> Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you and also with you. <coughs> Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, during Lent we have been preparing by works of love and self-sacrifice for the celebration of our Lord's death and resurrection. Today we come together to begin this solemn celebration in union with the Church throughout the world. Christ enters his own city to complete his work as our Saviour, to suffer, to die, and to rise again. Let us go with him in faith and love, so that, united with him in his sufferings, we may share his risen life. Hold up your palms. <coughs> God our Saviour, whose Son Jesus Christ entered Jerusalem as Messiah to suffer and to die, let these palms be for us signs of his victory and grant that we who bear them in his name may ever hail him as our King and follow him in the way that leads to eternal life, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us go forth, praising Jesus, our Messiah. Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Before Palm 24, I think this is a good place to give out some notices, and Alan wishes to speak to you first. <coughs> I meant to mention this last week and I forgot. Good Friday, we've got a, an Easter egg hunt for children in the village taking place in the church and around the churchyard. Um, it would be open 10 o'clock till 2 o'clock. I'm not asking for people to come and help on the day because, we, to be honest, we don't want hundreds of people here with current COVID regulations. Actually, having fewer people is better. But what we, I am asking for is anybody can donate any Easter eggs to give out as, uh, as prizes at the end of it. We've had, so far, we've had, through the Village Facebook page, we've had about, the uh, best part of 20 families have indicated that they're going to come, come along and take part. Uh, so, it's a good, so 
yeah, if anybody wants to donate an egg and just leave it at the back of the church or give me a shout and I'll come and fetch it, then that would be hugely appreciated. Thank you. There are the normal notices for services, but there are extra ones this Holy Week. <clears throat> on um, Monday, on YouTube, from Hibblestow and Broughton, there will be a Passion reading. I think it's from St Mark's Gospel. The one you recorded after the service last week? Yes, yes, it was the one we, we recorded, do you remember? We were pretending to be the archers. Um, <coughs> on tomorrow at seven o'clock on YouTube, there will be the Stations of the Cross. On Thursday, coming from this church, there is the Maundy Thursday service. That's at seven o'clock. At two o'clock on Good Friday is a family Good Friday service from Hibblestow. And then, oh, and at Scorby, that's also being recorded, is it? The one on the evening. Yes, six o'clock. Yes, there's a, a service from Scorby at six o'clock um, at the cross, and that will be recorded as well. And then Easter Day, next Sunday, there are the usual times for services, 9.15 here and Scorby, and 10.45 at Broughton. So let us join together for Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord's and all that fills it, the compass of the world and all who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and set it firm upon the rivers of the deep. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord or who can rise up in the holy place? Those who and a pure heart, who have not lifted up their soul to an idol, nor sworn an oath to a lie. They shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a just reward from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, and those who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord who is mighty in battle. Lift up your gates, O heads. Be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. As the crowds welcomed Jesus into Jerusalem, so we welcome him into the, our midst. Let us then show our love for him by confessing our sins in penitence and faith. We sing, we wave our branches, we shout Hosanna, then we turn away to go back to our old ways, our old lives, our old sins. Lord have mercy. We shout Hosanna as Jesus approaches, but we do not want him to come too close, not close enough to really see us. Christ have mercy. We would rather take up our palms for the King of Glory than take up our cross for the Servant King. Lord, have mercy. The Lord has made proclamation to the ends of the earth. 
See, your Saviour comes. Your sin has been paid for. You will be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. People of God, see your Saviour comes. Christ has come to save us. Hosanna in the highest. Amen. The night has passed and the day has opened before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of the new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Our first reading is going to be read by Margaret. The first reading is Psalm 118, verses 19 to the end. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I think you that have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvellous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Save us, we pray, O Lord. O Lord, we pray, give us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has made his light to shine upon us. Bind the festal sacrifice with cords up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, I will extol you. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good for his steadfast love endures forever. This is the word of the Lord. And Christine will now read from St Mark's Gospel. from Mark chapter 11 verses 1 to 11. As they approached Jerusalem near the towns of Bethphage and Bethany, they came to the Mount of Olives. Jesus sent two of his disciples on ahead with these instructions. Go to the village there ahead of you. As soon as you get there, you will find a colt tied up that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it here. And if someone asks you why you are doing that, tell him that the master needs it and will send it back at once. So they went and found a colt out in the street, tied to the door of a house. As they were untying it, some of the bystanders asked them, What are you doing, untying that colt? They answered just as Jesus had told them, and the bystanders let them go. They brought the colt to Jesus, threw their cloaks over the animal, and Jesus got on. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches in the fields and spread them on the road. The people who were in front and those who followed behind began to shout, Praise God! God bless him who comes in the name of the Lord. God bless the coming kingdom of King David our Father. Praise God. Jesus entered Jerusalem, went into the temple and looked around at everything. 
But since it was already late in the day, he went out to Bethany with the twelve disciples. This is the Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> Let us now say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We'll now say the Gospel Canticle, and will the ladies read the odd verses? and the gentlemen, the even verses. Jesus, Saviour of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. Make yourself known as our Saviour and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Show us your mercy, O Lord. O Lord, save the Queen. <coughs> Let your priests be clothed with righteousness. O Lord, make your ways known upon the earth. Give your people the blessing of peace. Make our hearts clean, O God. Let us pray. Gracious God, this is the day that you have made and we praise you for it. Forgive us for so often failing to do that, frittering away what we have now through our preoccupation with what once was, was or what yet may be. Help us to recognise each day as your gift to be received with gratitude and lived to the full. Teach us to welcome every moment as a new beginning, to put the past behind us and to work towards the future you hold in store. This is the day that you have made. In Christ's name, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, have mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, as we remember your triumphant entry into Jerusalem, we are reminded of how easy it would have been for you to take the easy option. 
to follow the way of the world. With the shouts of the crowd still fresh in your memory, it must have been tempting to give them what they wanted, to be the sort of Messiah they hoped you would be. But with you, there was no compromise, no watering down of your message for the sake of popular acclaim. You stayed true to your calling, despite the inevitable consequences. Lord, we find it so hard to stay true in turn, so difficult not to bend a little here and give a little there. Give us courage to walk the way of discipleship and by your grace to stay true to you, come what may. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the people in our community who have asked for our prayers. And we pray for the families and friends of those who have recently died. We pray for Gary Williams, Colin Illman, Claire Edlington, Linda and Justine Petch and family, Jean Smith, Eve Warburton, Keith Portes, Janice Owen, Pauline Gainsborough, Peter Robinson. And we pray for the families of those who have recently died. And remember especially today, Ian and Kerry, who looked after Jean all through the time since John has died. And so we pray for the families of Wendy Thomas, Avis Hargreaves, Gillian Ingram, Margaret Killip, Jean Barat, and Francis Newman. Living God, when life is hard and sorrows many, lead us safely through the valley of tears until the horizon opens, the clouds lift, and the sun shines once more. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. <clears throat> now we return to the collects on your prayer sheet. True and humble King, hailed by the crowds as Messiah, grant us the faith to know you and love you, that we may be found beside you on the way of the cross, which is the path of glory. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made, and forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily lamenting of our sins and acknowledging our wickedness, may receive from you the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time, with one accord, to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised that when two or three are gathered together in your name, you will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of your servants, as may the most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the world to come, everlasting life. Amen. Let us say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Today we have cheered you as the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Forgive us tomorrow when we corrupt the way you showed us. Today we have seen you on the donkey and praised your humility. Forgive us on Tuesday when we are arrogant and hypocritical. Today we have welcomed you in the chaos and the noise. Forgive us on Wednesday when we forget to spend time with you in stillness and quiet. Today we have run to greet you and proclaimed our loyalty. Forgive us on Thursday when we run away and betray you. Today we have called out to you loudly by name and hailed you as our King. Forgive us on Friday when we pretend that we've never met you and say we have no King but Caesar. Today we have expressed our unsuppressed hopefulness in the future you have in store for us. Forgive us on Saturday when we believe all is lost. Today we have been boldly certain of the earthly ways you will redeem us. Restore us on Sunday when we are startled and awed by your rising. As you go into the most holy of weeks, the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Before we end our service, I'd like to read a poem which I have read before by G.K. Chesterton, and it's called The Donkey. When fishes flew and forests walked and figs grew upon thorn, some moment when the moon was blood, then surely I was born. With monstrous head and sickening cry and ears like errant wings, the devil's walking parody of all four-footed things. The tattered outlaw of the earth, of ancient crooked will, starve, scourge, deride me, I am dumb, I keep my secret still. Fools, for I also had my hour, one far fierce hour and sweet, there was a shout about my ears and palms before my feet. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Jesus sends us out in his name and with his power. Blessed are you as you go in the name of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.